Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special series of reports on the 11 megatrends of 2008. What a year it's been. And every one of these megatrends is like nothing we've seen before. Firstly, the New Zealand dollar. It has fallen from 80 cents US in March to 52 cents in November. In the space of eight months, it has dropped further than the New Zealand dollar has ever dropped before in such a short space of time. The last time the New Zealand dollar fell this far was in 1995-96, and it took nearly three years to do it. This time, eight months. It really is something else. And it's not just the US dollar. In fact, our currency has fallen even further versus the Japanese yen. We've gone from 88 Japanese yen in March so one dollar buys 88 Japanese yen to 49 in November, an even bigger fall. And again, bigger than we've ever seen before. But we haven't fallen against everyone. If you look at the New, Ze New Zealand dollar against the Australian dollar, it's been actually reasonably steady compared to the rest at least, between about 80 and 85 cents. Now, why has our New Zealand dollar fallen so far, so fast? We need to look at one chart to start with, and this is the chart for the official cash rate and the 90-day bill rate. The New Zealand dollar was so attractive from 2004 to 2008 or early 2008 because our interest rates were high. We were attractive to international investors who were on a global hunt for high yield. When our yields started to drop from a 90-day bank bill rate of 9% in May to 5.3% in December, we became less attractive. But it's not the only reason. New Zealand is seen as one of a couple of commodity currencies that tends to move with commodity prices. We're often lumped in with the Aussie dollar on that front. So when commodity prices started to really drop in earnest around July, August, September, our currency fell sharply along with the Australian dollar. And that does make sense. We depend on commodity prices, particularly dairy commodity prices, for our export income. So commodity prices have dropped sharply. Also, issuance of these so-called Eurodashi and Eurokiwi bonds has dropped, again because our interest rates have fallen and because Japanese investors have seen big exchange rate losses. So, um, what does this mean? Well, it's great for exporters, you'd think, but of course it all depends on the commodity price they're getting in US dollars. If that has dropped very sharply too, the fall in the New Zealand dollar may only just soften the blow rather than actually provide a benefit. It's also bad for importers, and this is more definite. It's unlikely importers are able to get big drops in the US dollar costs of their imports, although it's worth shopping around, particularly now that China, its factory is starting to slow down. So it all depends on prices there, but to a lesser extent. The final moral of this story, it's a great year to go on holiday somewhere in New Zealand rather than overseas. There we have it, the first megatrend of 2008. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz, brought to you in association with ASB.